Hello everyone, this is Jim from International Camera Technicians and today we're going to go ahead and take care of this Nikon lens here. What we're going to do is we're going to take it apart. A few people have asked me if I could take this apart and show them how it comes apart. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This lens is no longer repairable. I bought it for a junk piece. I had to buy an element, not a front element, but a second element in. It was pretty messed up. Um, on the lens that I repaired. This one had a good one, so I swapped them out. Um, this one doesn't have a tag on it. This is a 182.8. It's the AF version. There's a coupler there. And um, I don't know if it's the D version or the uh, first version because um, there's no name tag. But when we pull the back off, we will see because it'll just be a different circuit board. So what we're going to do is get going on this thing. I'm just going to strip it all down. In another video, we'll probably put it all back together. Like I said, this one is missing a few things. It's got a bad, um, there's no uh, click stops for the diaphragm. Um, diaphragm is opening and closing. But yeah, generally this one's in pretty bad shape. But someone wants to see how it comes apart, so we're gonna go take it apart. First of all, we start with the screw right here. It's a set screw. People call them grub screws. Go ahead and take that out. Now we need to get the element out, and I didn't get all my tools all set for this, so nothing's neatly laid out. So I will have to search for all my tools, which right at this moment, I don't seem to have my wrench to get the front element out. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's spin this front element out. Next time I'll go ahead and probably be a little more ready for doing a video. I didn't think I put the front element in very tight and didn't really need to. So I go ahead, whoops. Ah, scratching the paint. down, there's my element, kind of sounded nasty but I didn't scratch the element, this is actually still a good front element, put that off to the side, okay so now the next step is to get those three screws down inside there, the two three, um, kind of a long shot, a screwdriver on it, so I get my longer tip screwdriver, they tend not to be in too tight so there's never really been an issue with stripping the screws out. Two screws out. And the third one down here. And there it goes. Okay, so this comes pretty much in half. Put that aside for now. Um, if you wanted to get this uh, hood off because it's bent or anything, you do need to take out this outside ring here. A um, little more difficult to get out. Those things are usually on pretty good. Um, you can do a little more disassembly. This thing is kind of ugly looking. Um, you can get underneath the leatherette, but you can see you can even need to peel the leatherette to get this um, system apart. So I'm just going to set that aside. I don't need to get into that. So we have here. This is your focus system right here. You can feel how you can hear how bad that is. Um, this system will kind of pull up a little bit, and we'll take care of that later. Put that back. Let's go ahead and get this rear mount section off. No problem on the rear mount. Um, always on the Nikons, take off these called mount rings. Take them off first. Very few of them come off with the mount. So you want to get this mount ring off first. This will also start to tell me which version of this lens it is. Yep, yeah, okay, so that didn't come up all the way. Don't force this out. I guess this is the first version of the lens. Oh, there it is. It just comes through. I didn't want to pull out. This didn't want to pull out because of this flex. So 
So that's the circuit board. So this is the first version. It's not even a D lens, but the Ds and the non-Ds are identical. It's just a different circuit board. And I think there's one little uh, contact too. Go ahead and take the mount off. The mount has five screws. That pretty much falls off. Nothing underneath the mount really. There's your focus coupler. Pick that guy up. It's a good focus coupler. Ooh. Okay, so I'm kind of interested to find out what's going on here. So that connects to the diaphragm. Weird. The um, click stops. What would make the click stops is here. It fell out. So it's like someone went in. Oh, so one of the cheapy ones. Cheapy ones with plastic rivets. Is that right? Yeah. So this one is it's very unusual. See this one? It's got plastic rivets on it. Plastic rivets broke. You can re-drill them and put screws in it. Put little short screws, maybe slightly smaller than these. Um, now hold it in place. That's what I was doing to make this a functional lens. You know, I find it even a screw smaller than that. So, yeah, that stuff rings good. Alright, let's get on with it. This ring here is going to come off. It's got the lock on it. Don't pull the lock out. You pull the lock out, you're going to end up with a few parts. Okay, the little spring. Spring goes in one way and one way only. Okay, it's got a sharp edge here. This one down here actually has a turned up edge. Extremely hard to see. But let's see. So I don't know if you can tell on the on the video or not. Um, but that's a, a, a turned up edge and that's a sharp edge. It just ends. That goes up into the button. So it's kind of like a ski here. He's got a smooth lip. Otherwise you will kind of dig and scratch into the system. Um, into, sorry. Um, you will dig and scratch into this metal right, uh, plastic right here. And that's never good. So, we'll go ahead, put that on. And we'll put it on correctly. So it goes on this way. Probably didn't hear it, I heard it. Let me click what's in there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this system off here. Three screws. start uh, coming out. It's tight. Don't want it to come out. What do we got here? Let's get this. Okay. To work it up. Push on the screw holes just a little bit at a time. Boom. Popped out. You can't get it in backwards. You have that cut out with that cut out. So it's not going to go anywhere else. It's got to go in there. Not a problem. All right. So um, pretty much everything. Now we need to attack the front. So, all right. Unless you want to do a bunch of collimating, guessing. You can see that this ring here is put on with tape. The tape starts here. Peel this one side or this side. 
Tape is extremely good for holding lenses together. Okay, I like to bring it all the way up to the front. And this is how I keep things straight. Go straight down the center. And I put a scratch. That's it. Then put this back together, mark those up. Boom, I know I'm pretty dang close. So close I don't really have to worry about it. And it's rare that I would have to do any other adjustments. Okay, so this guy gets pushed back and this guy pulls forward. Oh, no, sorry, wrong, wrong. There's the access hole there. Since you know where this mark and this mark go, it doesn't really matter when you take this off at. But you do need to mark where it comes out. So, take the guide out. Okay, so that guide came out. Now, what I want to do is I look where the guide came out from. I put one little dash mark. The guide that it was in, put another dash mark. And the area of the tube, another dash mark. So I know you probably can't see all those, but everyone has a little dash mark. Now I know what direction this element goes in. I know where this ring goes. And I know where the main tube underneath is. All lined up, not there to guess at anything. Boom, done. Now let's get two of these, one on the opposite side, go to the other one, align it to a position where you can take it out. These are easily pretty tight. I don't like this screwdriver. There's no handle, no grip. That guy comes out. Now I can just essentially take the whole tube out. You see back there, there's my guide mark over right there. My scribe mark, sorry. Not my guide mark, my scribe mark. All right, so that means this guy will also come out. And so that's the cam ring. See where that one is. So those two will line up with there. It's just, when you do it right, it's simple. This guy comes up. And it doesn't matter where this goes because we're going to have the mark there. So, there we go. Okay, so now we got three screws down below. One, two, three. Get those out. That'll bring up this full front system right here. And the out I think it's called the outside ring. The outside barrel, I think. It's a technical term. This has three screws. I think you can get this in almost any direction you want to. So the best thing to do, before we pull this off, give yourself a mark that tells you where the front of the lens is. Even if it's not difficult to align, it just makes it so much quicker when you put things together. Okay, so that's out. So we're getting to the point where a lot of people are wondering, because they have um, focus problems, and this gear up here breaks. Look at that crud that's in there. So, um, what you want to do is take this front off now. These are tight. Always tight. someone scratched it. I don't know how they reached in that far to scratch it, but they did. Um, this year had the front element that was, uh, the element that was bad. This is what I replaced the element wise on the other, the other camera. So this is a junker lens. So I think I said that right at the beginning. So there's your diaphragm sitting right there. Looking nice and pretty. 
that's the gear that breaks a lot. And this gear breaks an awful lot because people don't take this thing out of autofocus when they decide to manual focus it. And it will turn. It will turn this whole system. And this gear will turn and take a tremendous amount of stress. And it shears this pin off. So the one I saw on um, Facebook, people asked me to take it apart. They're complaining that this gear is broken right here. Um, really what happens is shaft right here at the end comes loose. Oh, sorry, it breaks off. So you got to drill. The last one I drilled, I drilled that shaft into this gear, started right about here, it went all the way and I dimpled it into this piece of metal up here. And that way that shaft wouldn't ever pull out. It had an anchor point here, the gear, and up here. Okay, so next thing we do is get diaphragm out of the way. You can take a look at that gear a little closer. Most people think this gear breaks. That gear does not break. It's actually kind of rare that this thing breaks. I think I've seen one, no, not on this lens. Other lenses I've seen that break, but not on this particular lens. can see the gear sit here to here see, it just takes a lot of disassembly to get this gear out of here people think they can just take the back back off and boom hey I get the gear out no and here we go I'm gonna end here I want to make this video too long and then I'll start doing a another uh, reassembly all right, well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, leave any comments below. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, essentially, I'm done for now, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.